Mike Taylor, broker owner, Red Door Property Management. Today I want to talk about frozen pipes. It's January in Indianapolis, it's super cold, and one of the risks that you have as a homeowner and a landlord is the risk of frozen pipes. Now today I'm going to run through the top five easiest things that you can do to prevent pipes from freezing in your Indianapolis rental home. Number one, let the water drip or run. Now this is definitely the number one most recommended cure for preventing frozen pipes, and it's with good reason. Simply turning on the faucet and letting the water have a gentle stream or slow drip is oftentimes enough to prevent pipes from freezing in your home. Even a small trickle of water can prevent ice from forming inside your pipes. When it's super cold outside, start a drip of water from all faucets served by exposed pipes. A few faucets running slightly will also alleviate the pressure inside the pipes and prevent a rupture in the event water does freeze inside of your pipes. Number two, open cabinet doors. If it's going to be very cold outside, one of the easiest things that you can do is to simply open up the cabinet doors where the piping is located throughout your home. Also, leave interior doors open and open your kitchen and bathroom cabinets to distribute heat consistently around the rooms. In addition, remove any household chemicals or cleaners from the open cabinets to allow the air to circulate more freely. This alone can add enough heat to your pipes to prevent them from freezing. Hoses and hose bibs. This is often overlooked, but it's also one of the first things to freeze on your home. This really should be done as part of the fall cleanup routine. However, uh, if it calls for freezing temperatures, you should go outside, disconnect, and drain any hoses that are attached to the hose bibs of your house. Also, you should close off any shutoff valves that uh, supply the outdoor hose spigots and open the faucets outside to drain the line. Oftentimes, these shutoff valves are found either in the basement or in the crawl space of the home. One last thing that you can do with your outdoor faucets is to purchase a faucet cover that is designed to, to prevent the hose spigot from freezing. These are readily available at Lowe's and Home Depot and are very inexpensive to purchase, typically less than about $10. Number four, space heaters. Oftentimes when a home has frozen pipes, it tends to be one or sometimes two faucets that are ones that always freeze. This many times is due to the fact that the supply line is plumbed on an exterior wall of the home. And if the home is older or lacks sufficient insulation, the pipes are more likely to freeze on this wall. If you have a known problem faucet that is prone to freezing, one thing that you can do is to place a small space heater inside the cabinet of the problem faucet. Oftentimes, even a very small space heater can generate enough heat in a small cabinet to prevent the, the pipes from freezing, saving you tons of headaches and tons of cost. The last tip I wanted to provide to you today is heat tape. Sometimes builders do weird things here in Indiana. One of them is including exposed plumbing supply lines in the garage. Many times we often see water heaters also installed in the garage. In these cases, of course, you should always leave your garage door shut during the times of extreme cold. However, sometimes even with the garage shut, the temperatures inside of your garage can be cold enough to freeze pipes. In these cases, we recommend purchasing and installing heat tape to prevent these exposed supply lines from freezing. Heat tape is just like it sounds. It's a roll of tape that you wrap around your plumbing lines and then plug into an outlet. Once it's plugged in, the heat tape generates enough heat to prevent the pipes from freezing. If you have exposed supply lines in your garage, you should seriously consider installing heat tape to prevent your, your pipes from freezing. Another thing you can do for exposed piping is to add insulation to any pipes that you have access to. This may help prevent pipes from freezing also. So, there you have it, five very easy things that you can do to save yourself a ton of headaches and a ton of money when the temperatures drop. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you find this information useful. We record all sorts of property management related videos relating to Indianapolis, as well as we do market reports for rental market statistics and data every single month. Please tune into our channel and subscribe so you can stay up to date on the latest for all things Indianapolis property management.